My name is Madison Littlejohn and we're here today at Lower Halstead Farm in Thurstonland, which is a working farm which raises sheep and cattle. And these are just some of this year's spring lambs. Lower Halstead Farm houses over 300 sheep. Once the ewes are ready to give birth, they are separated off into pens to bond with their lambs as well as being kept in a sheltered barn which they are herded into on a night to keep them warm and together, just in case a lamb needs to be delivered urgently. The sheep need to be fed with hay and water on a regular basis to make sure they can stay healthy for the birth. Water is pumped into a trough in the barn so that the sheep can access the water at any time. Sadly, some of these lambs are orphaned every year and need bottle feeding three times a day, but sometimes the lambs aren't orphaned and the mothers just don't produce enough milk. Here with the farm owner, Scott Hall, and this is one of this year's babies who not suckling very well. So what is it that you have to do to feed them when they're not suckling? We have to put a stomach to into its stomach so it gets some nutrients to survive. That's what we're going to do right now. How come, how come he's not wanting to feed from the bottle? The mother ain't making enough milk oh, to right. sustain it. Yeah, the tip of it in now. Oh, so I literally just pour that into here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> give it one more then. Some lambs struggle to latch onto their mothers and are too weak to suckle from a bottle. If the lambs don't get the nutrients they need from the very start of their life, their development can be affected. They can suffer from diseases such as joint tile. One of the most vital stages in the lamb's development is that they are detailed and castrated before they are allowed out into the field. If this procedure isn't done, it can cause the lamb's complications later on in life. The female lambs are tailed and the males are castrated as well as tailed. Some of the males are left to tup. This means that they are not castrated so they can be used for breeding when they mature. Each lamb is then numbered and paired up with their mothers before being let out into the field. This is vital as the farmer must be aware which lamb belongs to which ewe. They can sometimes be a little hesitant and need some encouragement from the farmer when being let out into the field for the first time. When they eventually get used to their surroundings, they love to play and explore with the other young lambs. They never venture too far from their mothers as they still rely on her for their main food source. Buckets of water and bales of hay are provided in the field by the farmer every day, although the ewes generally graze on the grass. With hundreds of lambs that have already been born, we've been lucky enough to catch another one on its way. The first step is gloves, right up to his shoulders, just in case he needs to get a little stuck in. Now that the gloves are on, the sheep needs to be restrained so that the farmer can assist with the birth as easily as possible and so that it doesn't escape and run away. The lamb needs to be delivered front feet and head first. If not, the farmer will have to try and turn the lamb around inside its womb to enable it to pass more smoothly. The lamb's head's now out, followed very quickly by the rest of its body. As soon as it's been born, the farmer must swing the lamb, which helps rid mucus from its lungs, and the newborn also needs rubbing to help stimulate its heart to make sure it can breathe by itself. After all this, lamb number two is on its way, and the process needs to be repeated again. This lamb is much bigger than the first, making it harder to be delivered but it all worked out fine in the end. Once they are both safely delivered, they are placed next to the mother's head to be licked clean and start bonding to know who its mother is. As soon as they are up on their feet and know their surroundings, they will enjoy their first taste of milk from their mother. Lambing season is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week occupation for farmers. However, the emergency births and early mornings take their toll after a few weeks. It is highly rewarding as it is the farm's main earner for this time of year and you have to admit, they are pretty darn cute. I've been lambing all my life and then I don't know anything different so it makes it all worthwhile when you get a lamb like this. 
can see him on the way. 